hello uh, ladies and gentlemen welcome back so if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, please uh, subscribe so that um, you help the channel grow it costs you nothing to hit the subscribe button but it means the world to me so thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far now continuing on here we now have a view counter for our posts as you can see here so what we want to do is use that to retrieve information on the home page so on our widget here i want us to see the order in which these posts come in so the most viewed at the top and so on and so forth so um we already know how to retrieve view count information but how can we run a query that involves uh, view count which is a meta or what we call a custom field so let's see what we can do here so what i want to do is let's go to our widgets and this widget.php that's our widget there and inside the widget function which is what displays the information. This is where we want to run a query. So we are not using information from the database here. So we're just going to ignore this and create our own data here. So as you know, the way we create a uh, loop, that uh, famous loop from the home page, this one right here. So that's exactly what we want to do. If have post, while have post, and then the post and then we do that so we can easily just copy this to avoid uh, repeating ourselves so let me just do that because it's the same process we're going to do here but now this depends on the main query so instead we're going to create our very own query here so i'm just going to say something like um, my posts is equal to new wp underscore query so write it exactly like that. Now, um, this is how we create a new query. If you want to find out more about the query, you can just search for WP query. If I copy this and let's go to our one of these, this is the code reference and you can do a search as we have been doing previously. So while that is loading, uh, so yeah, there we go, WP query. And so here it gives an example of how WP query can be used and then it gives you more information on what arguments to add because you can add some arguments in here on what to search for um, in your post. Now, instead of us just putting something here, let's, um, let's name a, an array called args. So you can put an array here. This requires an array and... Um, Let's put the array here and add some information. So I'm just going to do this to put some arguments in here. So like I said previously, you can use the letter S to search for a particular post. So let's do this. And I want to search for any post that has hello. So simple and plain there. So let's just search hello. And then we create this. Now we have to use this posts because that's the handle for our query we can't just do have posts here otherwise this will look for the main query so instead we're going to put this here so in front of all of these three i'll put my posts and then an arrow like that so this have posts so if this query the result of that has posts then let's loop through it and make sure you don't forget the post here otherwise you create an infinite loop here which will not be nice and then afterwards we want to get the template part this is just uh, a function as it is here it's not part of the query and then we get a post template there simple and straightforward right so we'll display this in our widget so let's see if things will work out as planned so if i now refresh i should see some posts here as you can see here so it's only one post that has hello world if i want to search for this one that has new for example i'm going to put new in here okay and let's come back here and refresh cool so there are two of these now you see it shows me a page as well which is not cool 
and like I said in WordPress everything is a post so it's searching from the post database now remember that there's post type here and we can specify that we just want a post and not a page so let's see how we can do that we can just put a comma to add more params here and just say post underscore type and then we'll say post okay so that's how we can filter that so that this should disappear the sample page and as you can see it's now gone because it's only looking for posts so there's an a or is it an o on all posts so if i search for o i think i should get more posts there so if i refresh now yes so this one has an o that one has an o and that one as well oh looky there what we have done uh, this isn't cool it's stretching out the posts to match this which isn't nice because of the um, because of the what is this uh, the flex box so let's see if we can handle that flex box here before it ruins us uh, let's see here anyway we'll, we'll deal with that in a moment uh, let me just finish with this so you get the idea here what I wanted to show the reason I wanted all of them to show is because we can limit the amount of results so we can say something like uh, posts underscore per page and then posts per page is let me put something like maybe two instead of three because now it's showing me three results one two three that if I now refresh uh, then I only see two so that's how you can edit that as well now instead of s here okay you may be wondering where do I get this information well like I said you can see this information right here in WP query or you can look for this URL here which I had showed in an earlier video on um, query arguments you can just google for WP query arguments if you want or I can just uh, copy this URL from here and show it to you close up paste it here so that's the URL I'm getting that from or you can simply google this okay so let me undo that now here instead of this I'm going to use meta key to search and the meta key will be uh, views and then from here I want to um, to order this so I want to tell it to use what whatever um, post has this in it will be returned so whatever uh, post has a meta key of views will be returned and then on top of that we'll have um, order by okay so order by what do I want to order this by let me put an empty string for now and uh, the order type will be descending so that the top is first so this is just order like this so order is either ascending or descending it could be like this ascending order or descending order but order by is the column that we want to order by now to get this column let's go to the same page right here and i'm searching for order by here to see what it says so this is order descending or ascending either descending ascending order by date order by let's see here what I'm looking for so it describes all this by month minute hour uh, meta key for example now the one I want is meta value num because uh, it's a number that I'm getting from here so i'll use that instead okay so these are the arguments that we are using for now so let's see how well they're going to fare if i refresh the key 
So you see now uh, I get the highest views and second highest views. Now if I increase the posts per page to 3 or maybe 10, something like this, I get to see more. Oh, the reason why the other one isn't showing is because it doesn't have a view counter here. We haven't clicked on this to create a view list, so that's why it doesn't show up here even though it has zero. Uh, it doesn't really have a zero, the uh, view column just doesn't exist. So that's why you don't see it here. So this one has the highest view, so let's check to see. This one has five and this one has uh, three. So this is working fine. The moment I click on this one, now I get a one. I should be able to see it now as part of the list. So you see it there, lowest. So that's how you get the view counter thingy here. Now you may want to redesign your, um, your posts that live here to not match the ones that live here. So because these are on the sidebar, they shouldn't look like these ones. So let's do that in the next video.